Today I wanted to cover the wonderful house music of Logic 1000. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Inspire By. My name's Will and I make an assortment of music under the moniker Hush Child. You guys seem to enjoy the episodes on Chaos in the CBD and Follow More, so I thought I'd bring you another kind of lo-fi house vibe, especially with summer right around the corner. I actually made this beat live on Twitch, so do head over to my channel if you want to see some more behind the scenes stuff. Let's not waste any more time, let's jump into it. Alrighty, so you got a feel for the track in the introduction to the video. I want to walk you through the chords real quick. I've actually used an old template that I previewed in a previous episode. It was called my quick start template and I think the video was titled something like you don't need music theory. In this template I use Cthulhu to root my chords. So basically on this channel here I have Cthulhu set up with one of these packs that I've downloaded which gives you loads of different chords. And that's being sent to another track that might have Serum or another third party plugin or in this instance I've just got the e-piano a stock Ableton instrument. And you can see here if I expand this channel we've got Cthulhu selected above and it's playing from Cthulhu. So if I record on both of them but I'm just going to solo my chords track. When I press the D sharp here, you can see it plays this nice block chord. And I'm gonna go down to the E, and we have this larger chord. So they're the two notes or chords that I started playing around with uh, before I went live on Twitch. So straight off the bat, jazzy chords, but with a kind of house pattern. And then I immediately went into my plugins and I added the kilohertz transient shaper and that's from the slate digital bundle. So this just takes off some of that harsh attack. Then a phaser flanger to give it more of a dancey feel. And then the echo is doing quite a lot to add some space and delay behind the notes. Quite a lot of feedback there so it's just drifting off into the distance but I've high passed a lot of the notes. And then a saturator to make it sound a little bit more aggressive. And then we're high passing everything because I know I'm going to stack these layers. And then as I said, I've got this saturated layer. It's more aggressive than the last one. Super, super high passed. Let's put those together. I've got another set of chords and these chords I'm just changing ever so slightly from the ones above. You can see that the third set of chords are occasionally playing some different notes and that's just going to create a little bit of differentiation there. I'm using Serum for this one and we're using just this little synth preset that I downloaded from the Lo-Fi Chill Gang. It's just basically a manipulated sine and sawtooth wave. And then I figured it needed just a little melodic rhythm here. So I'm just playing that same G in a little rhythmic pattern. Lovely stuff. One of the things that I really enjoyed when I heard Logic 1000's newest song, she included like this really nice break that was in there. And I started using this break as a placeholder, but then included it in the entire beat. And this was just downloaded from Splice. As you can see here on the left side of the screen, I just chopped it up a little bit, high passed it and doubled that up with this famous break from Melvin Bliss Synthetic Substitution. You can hear us getting a little bit more low passed before we go into the main section of the song. As we go into the main section of the song, I've just panned the audio so it's more central. Those two breaks together sound like this. Nothing too exceptional, but they double up with the drums really nicely. So what's in my drum group then? So we've got this Manny Fresh one shot. This kick is muted, so any side chain is being rooted through this muted kick here. We've got a little snare from uh, this 2SG snare. Not sure where that came from. Little high pass on it. And then we've got this decap snare as well that never lets us down. Super high passed and pitched up a little bit as well. 
We have these three elements together. And then I quickly noticed that Logic 1000 was using more UK garage style tops and hats and stuff. So I've got this little UKG loop that I started chopping up. Coupling that with these lovely Oliver rides and they're just offset from each other. I've got something that is a little bit to the left and plays either side of my kick and snare and then something that's more central with a slightly different EQ. We're getting this push and pull of the cymbals here. And then this little hi-hat pattern that I chopped up. That was just a one shot. And we made sure that that just ticks over. It's really, really subtle. Uh, but when we put all our tops together, we have this. I want to interrupt this episode before we get to more of the exciting stuff to tell you about our sponsor today, DistroKid. DistroKid is the go-to for me for releasing all of my musical content. They have a wonderful array of hyper-follow tools which make sure your audience can find your music wherever it's at, which it should be everywhere if you're using DistroKid. You can also link to a YouTube video if you've done a music video or like I did with Days, you can link to a kind of how it's made video as well. I've never once regretted signing up for distro kid and if you want to do the same do use my link in the description below you'll get seven percent off your first year so one of the main elements is going to be the organ bass and i noticed in a subtle part of logic 1000's latest release there was actually two organ bass sounds we've got an organ bass that's playing in a lower octave so i've used a slightly different preset here in serum for this one but i'm using the stock serum bass patches just here in bass and then scroll down and find organ and I'm just manipulating the lower bass a little bit. The lower bass plays more legato notes. And then as you can see, I've used the envelope follower. We looked at that technique in a previous video. I've rolled that off a little bit. OTT to just manipulate the multiband compression. Utility to stick this whole bass in mono, a little bit of sidechain compression after all of this, and then utility just so I could bring the gain down overall because we've got a little bit of automation here. With the top bass, we're using some of the same plugins. We're rolling it towards the higher regions of frequencies with the EQ8. OTT, again, rolling off that low end and pulling out those higher frequencies. And then finally, we've got reverb this time as well. More staccato and more rhythmical with this bass. Okay, and then that leads me onto the pads that are super subtle within Logic 1000's tracks. Again, made up in Serum, EQ8, just to take out some of those harmonics that I didn't like and rolling off the lows and rolling off some of the highs. So we have more of a telephone EQ effect. And then again, sidechain compressor being sent to that kick mute. So we get some kind of bounce. In Serum, just using a basic pad preset and tying that LFO to the cutoff. So again, there is some kind of automation there. Using another pad to just harmonize with that melody. Let's have a recap of everything that we've heard so far. I wanted to top off this beat with this Bridget Kelly sample that I found. Logic 1000 beats normally have a subtle vocal drenched in reverb really low in the mix so I've got this Bridget Kelly vocal that I've got in a higher pitch and a lower pitch could I have used delay absolutely but I just wanted to automate that repeating vocal by hand and then I could really control it throughout the mix and then I've got the lower vocal above You can probably hear and see that that's being sent to the return with a little bit of stereo delay. So those two guys together sound like this. And as I mentioned on the group, we're using the multi-band compressor in the OTT preset. Fresh air from Slate Digital to just bring out some of the highs in that vocal. Utility to control the width and the gain. EQ8 
utility again because I was being lazy and I just wanted to turn the gain down after that EQ and then a compressor to sidechain once again to that kick mute. After that, I just took the opening vocal that we hear in this little section and let that reverb play off onto a resample track. So we could use it as a riser in the intro of the song. Apart from that, I've just got some cymbals from Splice that I've kept the gain nice and low. I've pitched up a disco crash with some delay and used our old friend, the Lex Trap Crash as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this was enjoyable. Let's have a little recap of this beat. Listen to everything together. So there we have it guys. Did you tune in to the Twitch stream and see me make this live? What do you think about the changes and what do you want to see in future videos? What producers have you been listening to? What albums are you most excited about? What artists should be on my radar? For now guys, I thank you so much and I'll see you next time.